All right, team, this is J6.2 here, uh, representing OPKEY investors. And as you well know, OPKEY, by this time, you should know that OPKEY stands for Other People's Knowledge, Expertise, and Effort. So we use OPKEY to build our portfolio, Other People's Knowledge, Expertise, and Effort, and to build wealth. In this video, I want to share with you why my experience with Hankel Trade won't deter me it won't stop me from moving forward on uh, some of the labeled unregulated brokers all right oh i want to share this with you i did receive my withdrawal from hankel trade so they 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 lived up to their reputation as far as uh, taking care of withdrawals within 48 hours even during the transition when they had me a little shook because I couldn't see it in my account they still got my little $200 or a little less than $200 to me but this was the only problem I had with them it they gave us one day warning I had as as an EA trader I had an EA running that I was testing with real money remember I always test on demo then I test with the with a very small amount when it comes to real money before I go all in. So I had a two hundred dollar account, so I was only down like five uh, to six percent. But that's when they pulled the rug up from under me. But that's cool. That's cool. But I'm just going to start this test over. This is the Quantum Emperor, and. Uh, I'll start this real money test over at the at the beginning of the year. I'm not going to start it in the middle. All right, guys. So what are my what are my three reasons that I'm sticking with experimenting with or experiencing these offshore brokers? Number one, I only use casino money and I have a casino attitude. Now I know that's going to be subjective because people have different attitudes about casinos. I see people all day long taking it seriously. I don't take a, a, a casino experience serious at all. And very seldom have I walked out and I'm, I'm 6.2 years old. 6.2 years old, but you, you get it. And I very seldom have walked away in a profit. And if you were, even when I say I'm walking away with a profit in a casino, if you really look at the whole experience, no. Yeah, I, I never walked away in a profit. Some people have, but I'm not one of them because after you get the expense of getting there, eating, having a good time, uh, the room, the shows, if you're in Vegas or whatever the case may be, uh, sightseeing, it's just a vacation that if if I did win anything, it would just be a subsidy unless I hit a major, major jackpot. So number one is my mindset is I do this and I'm weird, I know, but I actually do this as an experience. I really put casino money into these brokers like Coinex, like Hankel Trade, people along those lines. All right. That's number one. I have a true casino mindset, and I just told you what mine was. Number one, I don't ex Second thing, during my research, and I've seen this with quite a few YouTubers, I still don't understand uh, the restrictions, I uh, mean, true understanding of the restrictions that uh, MetaQuotes are putting on these brokers. People say unregulated. But the only thing that I could find that was coming up in some of the blogs and consulting consulting companies, broker consulting companies, that is, is that they were tightening up on white label, white label unregulated brokers. And then when I say unregulated again, uh, I think that's pretty subjective because when we say unregulated here in the United States, I think that that means it's not re regulated by the United States. So, uh, it, like a lot of these Australian brokers that you see, they're regulated, but they're not regulated by the United States, right? So, I, I, I'm going to just rock with the ones that have been working until the wheels fall off. What are the wheels falling off? Is Hanko Trade is the wheel falling off. But I'm going to try to be a little bit more selective to say, is this really one of those C-book type of brokers? And you have to resort back to number one. 
it's just casino money anyways and I'm having a good time I'm having a good time but I happen to be making some money with that good time as well all right I'm gonna give oh let me give you a quick ex now I'll do that after my third one my third one is I am trading with house money that makes it a lot easier to me one of the philosophies that I think that I finally adhered to was take your initial investment out as soon as possible so it's house money so if I have two hundred dollars here a thousand dollars there uh, fifteen hundred dollars here two thousand dollars with this uh, uh, other account all that is profit that I'm playing with that is house money for the most part I have taken out even if I uh, put an EA on an account a five hundred dollar account and that account is blown completely that was done with house money so I have that attitude as well I'm gonna give you a classic example where um, I didn't listen to people because and, and I still think that that crypto uh, has run its course but I'm hedging that because I still have like a hundred dollars in Shiba Inu right sorry about that guys I had about that I had to run off for just a second uh, but back to the Shiba Inu story. For those of you that are in the know, you're going to know about that crypto. I think it's, it, it still may be a token. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it was Shiba Inu at that particular time, just to show you how casino money can work. My daughter had called me, told me that her and her fiance had gotten into this Dogecoin thing. Didn't know anything about it. Didn't care. But... I started researching and I'm just saying like, okay, this will work with some casino money and we'll just see what happens. So I found this uh, coin that was Shiba Inu. I, it was much less than a penny. So that's the first time in my life that I've owned anything over a million. So I think that I invested a little bit over a thousand dollars. Don't remember at all. Uh, long story short, that thousand dollars, the Shiba Inu grew to be like $8,000. Right. And something happened uh, with my health. Uh, just really quick. I was diagnosed with um, uh, with with a throat cancer. Right. And luckily enough, if it wasn't for that investment, it pretty much saved my ass. Because as an entrepreneur, as someone who owned a consulting firm, I chose not to have uh, medical insurance at that time. And I needed that money to be pulled out for uh, some biopsies, other appointments, uh, medicines, things of that nature until I can get the medical uh, insurance that I needed for the radiation. Now, so I pulled out of that $8,000, actually made $7,000, so I pulled out $5,000, took care of those medical expenses. Now, remember, this is still house money. Then I started getting greedy because I'm saying, okay, this is cool. So I was looking for the next Shiba Inu, which was Saitama. Those of you in the know would know about that. And it really crazy ass um, community. So be careful as you go in and start uh, uh, researching this stuff and Googling it whatsoever. But the, the thing is house money can bring it. But I just had the attitude where um, I can lose this at any time. Oh, and back to the, the initial Shiba Inu. Once I got up to $1,000 and the first thousand I actually took out. So it was just even, um, I was pretty much safe. The only things that I would have to risk is losing my mind because of my expectations. And there are some sad stories with that if you don't have a casino mentality. The saddest story is when people put second mortgages on their homes and dump everything into Saitama or even Shiba Inu because as people in the know it, it lost 90 percent of its value from their all-time high so guys i think with anything like this you need like a crypto uh slash casino unregulated mindset to even consider this so until the next one guys go out there make some money see ya